Uh, by the way, I, I'm like not very good at uh, telling everybody what this whole thing is about. Mostly it's just about like me. You. you. But the second you. thing uh, is you. that it's about. Uh, yeah, no, it's about me. Um, and the third thing uh, is that sometimes there's like sing along stuff, but sometimes there is not. And I don't uh, know the best way to cue everyone into that, um, except just to say sometimes I start to music direct what's going on. And I, I, I hope you go with me on that. Because um, I'm, I'm who I am. Uh, in, the, in the theme of. Music theater essentially just be, I mean, like, I mean, it's opera too, right? Like, if we really want to get into it and we want to have a whole hour where we don't sing anything at all, then we'll debate, like, what's music over here and what's opera. And we're not going to do that because, like, boo. Um, but also, there, like, in, this, in the world of songs that tell stories, which is not just bound to those two genres, there, I mean, country music is a huge, right? Like, Ori almost an original storytelling, like folk music, right? Uh, rap, whatever you want. Like, we could go on and on and on, and I don't want to. Instead, what I want to do is talk about a, a song that I heard this year that blew my fucking mind. And uh, I'm gonna share it with you now, with almost no additional information. Except that it is a country song. And the story that it tells, I think, is so big that I can't tell it by myself, so I'm going to invite my friend Julia to finish the stage. Um, it's almost like she knew what was, about to, what was about to happen. We've got some lyrics in front of us, which I think should become very apparent very soon about what's going to happen. It's very complex. It's very complex. I'm going to go off mic for this, because she's going to go off mic for this. And I'm also going to turn this piano down. And then I'm gonna ask you to like be violently aware of whether the piano is too loud. Violently aware. I chose those words on purpose. Turning the piano down.
It actually really fucking did. So, we all know the joke. There's a lake. You're parked at it. It's 80 miles from Santa Fe. Cool. Great. That's like the information that we received, right? <laughs> and in case you didn't hear that, you gotta go. I don't know. What, I, gotta, I don't know. I don't know how to help you at this point. If you didn't glean that from what we just did. So, you keep. There's this I, right? I, I'm parked by the lake at Santa Fe. I, I'm parked by the lake at Santa Fe. Me, the lake, 80 miles from Santa Fe, that's where I'm parked. I'm there, the parking. The Santa Fe, the lake, the 80 miles, that's all about me. I got it, cool. Cyclical thinking, who here is familiar with that? That's a big me, right? Parked, parked could also mean stuck, right? In cyclical thinking, I'm parked by the lake, the lake by Santa Fe, the lake that's 80 miles from Santa Fe, this lake that I'm at, the lake where I'm parked. I'm parked by the lake by Santa Fe, that's me, I'm parked there, that's where I'm parked, you get it. And there's a point in the bridge where we get some self-awareness. I'm gonna move. I know that I'm parked. Someday I'll move. Right now, I'm parked. The lake, the Santa Fe, I'm parked there. Someday I'll move. Now I'm parked. Following me so far. Cool. Then in the outro, we get the other nuclear bomb of information. Right? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sitting out here, Paul. It's where I told you how I felt. There's a you now. I'm parked by the lake at Santa Fe. Cyclical thinking, you are involved. It's here, the lake. It, here, this lake, is where I... The singer told you how I felt, so now I am here, parked by this lake, Santa Fe. I'm not kidding, this song blew my fucking mind! It is a joke, and then it's not a joke. It's the model land of songs! We gotta get away from that, quickly. Because I think I'm halfway through my time. Yeah. Sorry, which lake? Santa Fe. Got it. Is that about 80 miles? Yeah. Okay, yep. good. Cool. 